Well, I remember uh, walking into a very uh, busy, majestic bar where I knew no one in the room. And by dinner time, I was having dinner with 12 people that I had just met that day. So yeah. it was that kind of welcoming vibe mm. uh, from a community that was very excited to meet you and, and the feeling was mutual. Yeah. Um, I also couldn't get over how beautiful uh, the Quasette was and how difficult it was to be indoors when all we wanted to do was go outside. Yeah, 1982, and uh, it was quite overwhelming to me to see everything at all in one place. I, it was this grand supermarket of television, and uh, it was spectacular. Well, the purpose in that year for me was to present Inspector Gadget to the global broadcast community. It was the first TV series that I was producing, and uh, uh, meeting with different broadcasters from around the world and uh, it was a completely eye-opening experience for an American producer because usually in the States, especially at that time, American producers sold to their local broadcast market anything that they could get outside of the two oceans was unusual and was gravy. and. Uh, uh, Americans tend not to always be aware of a big world that's out there that they need to be mindful of as well. And uh, of course, uh, today uh, the U.S. market is a fraction of the global marketplace, and uh, it's a very uh, important event to be here for MIP. And then as MIPCOM has evolved as well, it was in '94. I was two weeks in the business, and it was the first market ever for me. I had no idea what this was about, um, and. The only idea was uh, programming and people. And I had no responsibilities on the job. Um, and my boss at that time said, uh, meet people. And I asked him, where do I meet the people? And he said, in the evening at the bars. So for one week, I was at the bars. It was probably in 1990 or somewhere around there. Um, and I remember being completely blown away by the size of what I saw as a massive supermarket of basically ideas. Um, and I came away incredibly stimulated. And it actually brings me great joy these days to be able to bring members of our team here for the first time and watch them go through that very same uh, experience and to watch them come away with um, you know, so much inspiration. I came uh, first time in 1984 and uh, I came with a nine-month-old son and my wife uh, working for CBS and the uh, there was no building that we're currently in it was the old uh, what well, I guess it's the Radisson now or the, Mar the Marriott yeah. and I remember coming and uh, having no idea what to do yeah. and saying to myself so how do you really function in this business and uh, for CBS at the time we were in the film business it was the film end of it so we didn't have many rights and it was hard to navigate. I'd get home at night and go, hmm, not sure what I got done today. And uh, I think my first few days here, I went to dinner. I originally from New York. I went to dinner at 6 o'clock and even the waiters weren't there yet. And I realized when we were done at 8, people were just starting to come to the restaurant. So I knew there was a great cultural divide. It was April 1983. So next year will be my 30th anniversary of being down here. So when people talk to you about, oh, we've done 30 markets, I go, oh, I've done 30 years here. It was my first time in a sales organization. So I was working for Jim Henson for Henson International TV. And so I was the, you know, the skivvy at the bottom. So unpacking loads of trunks with flyers and three quarter inch uh, tapes in those days, no DVDs, nothing on an iPad and all that kind of thing, which we just literally had to lug. And I finished unpacking my stand and I thought, oh, well, I have something else to do. So I went down and offered my assistant to um, Central TV as they were, so got to know all these kind of people. And uh, that was the start of it. Um, it was 20 years ago. I'm coming here for 20 years and I'm coming three times a year. So I was 20 times at MIP TV. I remember the restaurants, there are great restaurants still there and also many of friend, many of my friends in the business, they are still there. Mm -hmm. So we're growing all together a little bit, like it's, it's like a Jurassic Park a little bit more. It's, it's once done. a year and you, you can come and you don't need appointments uh, at, because you walk the crossette and there is the biggest office 
of TV uh, at that time is, is here for one or two kilometers and you, you meet everybody you want. So uh, I was planning for, um, for our channels in Germany. I was programming planning. Uh, first of all, and then I did acquisitions. My first acquisitions were, were TV movies. At that time, they were really very, very good. The ratings were very good. So we bought these kind of cheap TV movies uh, and aired it.